it is one of the best features that you can have on a phone and it is the feature that makes you buy this new iPhone 14 Pro. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. So today we're gonna talk about the Apple event, but this video is not gonna be a simple recap of the event because you already know what product Apple has just presented in this September event. So first of all, the focus of the event was of course on the, new, on the newest iPhone, but other than that, they just presented the new Apple Watch that it is pretty much a review and a new version of the Apple Watch Series 7 and then they presented also an Apple Watch Ultra that it is pretty much a rugged version of an Apple Watch and I don't know I don't like it pretty much if I have to say my opinion but we will see on the field if it is actually a useful tool for someone or maybe not. Then they also presented the new Apple AirPods that they are not the AirPods Pro 2 but uh, they are the same AirPods but with some changes at the inside and they have a new chip with more power and they have some new features like on the case they have a speaker so you can find your headphone whatever you are. Of course they have wireless charging and they last more and they have double the noise cancellation. All these small things have just improved on this Apple AirPods Pro. But this is not a second version of these wireless headphones. Then, talking about the newest iPhones, you know that they presented the iPhone 14, the 14 Plus, the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. I did say it also into my previous video that the iPhone mini would be replaced by this iPhone 14 Plus and Someone said that this phone should be called iPhone 14 Max, but as I said in my previous video, the rumors said also that it was more possible uh, an iPhone 14 Plus version, and so that is the case. So it is basically an iPhone 14, but with the iPhone 14 Pro Max dimensions. Other than that, they have made pretty much no changes on that phone at all. But I will not talk also about those standard iPhone but my video it is about the newest iPhone 14 Pro and the Pro Max because they have this new feature we can call it feature they don't have anymore the notch on the top and it is smaller now it is like a pill shape cut out in the screen so in the front you have this little pill includes the cameras and also the face ID so this is called dynamic island on this new iPhone and it is pretty much a standard notch or cutout that you have already seen in all the old Android phones. But Apple, as always, has just done something that makes the customer say wow. And this is the case because it is such a little thing, but they have such an attention to details. This little cutout that feels very, very old on a phone in 2022, but they made it in a way that you feel that this, this feature it is actually a feature and it is one of the best features that you can have on a phone and it is the feature that makes you buy this new iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. So of course I'm not hating or blaming anything to Apple but I'm just saying that they have a very very strong marketing strategy and also they have some very very innovative and and this very attention to details that pretty much nobody has because as I said before on Android it is a thing that it is now very very old because the newest Android phone has only some very very small cutout on the top of the screen for the cameras and some other Android doesn't have at all the camera on the screen but it is under the screen but Apple just made this thing so this dynamic island that I don't know why this name but uh, this is how they call it so we are gonna call it like that they just make the old iPhone because it is pretty much an iPhone 13 Pro but they made it like in a way that it looks cooler and this as I said before will be one of the reasons why you will buy this new iPhone 14. Of course you have new cameras so 48 megapixel it is one of the first big jump from the standard 12 megapixel on the iPhone cameras and I want to say finally because it was the case now in 2022 to jump to 48 megapixel but as they did a very good thing they did also a bad thing we can say because they still didn't change the charger type and they are still 
on Lightning. So maybe from the next year they will adapt. I mean, they have to adapt to uh, Type C connection. So I hope for the next version with the Type C because I mean it's so useful to have every device with Type C. So I don't understand why using Lightning yet because it doesn't make any sense. It is slow. It doesn't have any compatibility with any other device. So it doesn't make any sense really. So pretty much this was the main features of this new iPhone. Of course, there are a lot of other features that they presented. They just refined a little bit the already good iPhone 13 because it was a very, very good phone. But with this new version, I mean, as I said before, it's look like a little bit better. So for someone, it is justifying to buy a new iPhone, of course. And for people like me, because they like what they do and also they like the smartphone world and the tech world, so they will buy it anyway. But thinking on what they have actually changed on this phone, it is pretty much a few things. And I think it's not worth it to upgrade to iPhone 14, especially if you have like an iPhone 11 or 11 Pro or maybe the 12 or the, of course, the 13. It doesn't make any sense at all. Anyway, I think we will try this new iPhone here on this channel. I hope that I can make the pre-order of this iPhone and just try it here on my channel. So as I said, if you don't want to miss any content, if you don't want to miss the camera test on the newest iPhone, just subscribe right now. And make sure also to turn on the bell so you will receive the notification of the video. Anyway, what do you think about this new dynamic island that makes this new iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max looks cooler? So what do you think? Let me know it down below in the comments. I'm very, very curious about that. Also, one more thing. By the images, I like very much the purple color on this newest iPhone Pro and Pro Max. So I think I will go on that if I can buy one of those. And what do you think also about the color? Let me know it always down below in the comments. And also, if you did like this video, just hit a like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, down below also, it's free. And thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.